Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daryl Arante and for today's video, I am going to do a short review with this Eastland Sherman 1955 edition Malkto boots in olive color. I recently picked up this pair of boots because they were in the clearance section for $42 in comparison to $225. Yep, very big discounted price. So really a no brainer for me to not be able to grab this, you know, plus the picture looks great on the screen and I simply love Mokto boots. Anyways, let's jump in and see if these boots are worth putting on your shoe rack. This Eastland Sherman Mokto boots in olive color has a very appealing appearance. I do love the true olive color of this boot. The contrast color between the logo and the leather, the midsole against the outsole do blend well together. Premium quality leather done with a handmade true moccasin construction. It is composed with a padded color and grip sole. The outside sole is made from a genuine Vibram that provides slip resistance, durability, and shock absorbing cushioning for all day comfort. Made with rawhide laces in which I I am not a big fan of it because every time I lace up these boots, the debris gets everywhere. I understand the concept of the rawhide, but it's just not for me, all right? It's funny how my fiance described his boots. Um, she said it looks like a combination of Sperry boat shoes and a uh, regular boot. Go figure, right? Anyways, overall, it looks great in my own eyes, although I prefer the off-white outsole compared to this one. These boots did not need any type of breaking in, all right? Right from the get-go, these Eastland Mokto boots are very pleasant on your feet. Pretty lightweight compared to other boots. Comfortable enough to put on and to walk around with it. However, after a couple hours of walking with this, I could start to feel a little fatigue in my heels. It's true to size, has a good snug on your feet. Vibram sole gives that great support. Not stiff at all compared to Red Wings Mokto boots, and you don't necessarily need to heel lock lacing. This is something you could wear during your casual walk or in the office. And keep in mind though, that this is not a waterproof at all, and it's not designed for heavy duty work, such as construction, due to its own composition, and probably not good for hiking either. Through my experience wearing this for a couple hours, I did not have any problem with the traction. Very slip resistant thanks to the Vibram made outsole and although I haven't tested this on a slippery surface, I could tell you right now that this boot is not going to slip you slip away. Original value for this Malta boots is around $225. But in my humble opinion, you could probably get a better boot for another boot company for that price like, let's say Red Wings, Thirsty Boots, or Timberlands. However, if you see this at the discounted price, like I did, please sure go grab this bad boy. With this specific olive color, it doesn't have that much versatility. This olive color gives a fall outfit vibe, which I'm a big fan of it because the color just suits my skin tone perfectly. So if you're gonna style this, stick with the earth tone colors just like I did in my photo shoot. I had a dark green corduroy shirt, natural beige colored t-shirt, brown socks, and with this boots in olive color. Obviously you could compose your own combination, but stick with the earth tone fall vibe to make your outfit look great with this boot. Overall, Eastland Mach 2 boots is a pretty decent pair of boots for boot lovers out there. Lightweight and comfortable enough to wear it for the first time, great for casual occasion or everyday short walks. The color works well during the fall season too. However, this specific color, olive green may not work for everybody. If I will be able to grab another pair, I will pick a different color such as brown with white outsole. Worth grabbing it at a discounted price and worth putting on your shoe rack. That's my review for this Eastland Mach 2 boots in olive green color. Don't forget to press the thumbs up if you're happy to like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. That's it for me guys. Stay safe and stay amazing. Have a good day everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.